the ETK 700, a mod for BeamNG I'm struggling to like. Why? Well, it's a predecessor to the ETK 800, but there's been very few changes to justify this being its own separate vehicle. Let me explain. So on the right here we have the ETK 700. This is a free mod on the repo by Robert CZLP. And on the left we have the ETK 800, our favourite modern German saloon car, the only modern German saloon car in BeamNG. So what does the predecessor have? Well it's got slightly bigger lights, a different grille, in fact slightly bigger than the newer one which is interesting. That's the opposite of how BMWs have progressed. The rear quarter's been changed, they've deleted the Hofmeister kink, that's kind of a kink design that many BMWs have and as you can see on the 800 it is present as it wraps around an extra window. And the rear has been changed, we've got different lights, we've got a number plate cut out here, that is not present on the ETK 800, the number plate's down here. The hood has also been changed, you can see it's much more sculpted on the ETK 800, this is far smoother, but the modelling just looks bad, I mean look at that, very very rough around the edges. I think the most disappointing thing is that the interior hasn't been changed, so this is the ETK 800, have a good look, drink it in, and then if we move over to the 700, it's identical. Mm. The only thing this base model doesn't have is the sat-nav infotainment screen. That's kind of a cool change, but again, it's a little bit rough where they've changed it. As you can see, the 700 sits right next to the 800 in the vehicle list. They have been separated, and it does have 89 configs compared to 49 configs on the ETK 800. When you look through here, though, the list has basically been inflated. We've got different versions of every single car. So the 260D has both a manual and automatic in the sedan form, and a manual and automatic in the estate car. That's why the ETK 800 has less configs, they've not been split up into all these different variants. In terms of the driving experience, well it's nothing special, it's exactly the same, the gearboxes are the same, the engines are the same, and the chassis is very very similar. I don't think many tweaks have really been done, apart from maybe to the horsepower of the cars, it drives pretty much exactly like you'd expect the ETK 800 to drive in the vanilla game. I don't want to be overly harsh, I am of course very thankful to all the mod creators out there for creating some really cool content for the game, but should this really have been a separated car in the vehicle list? It's just no different to the ETK 800. I mean, how many of you, if you saw a picture of this, would just think it is the ETK 800? I probably would. We do, that. you have some badges, you know, 746. It does actually say the 700 on there and then the engine size. So that's kind of cool, but the lack of any changes on the interior, that's kind of the nail in the coffin for me. Why is why has this not been changed at all? I've done hundreds of mod reviews of BeamNG. I can't be positive about every one, otherwise where's the baseline for like an average mod if every review I do of a car is like, wow, this is amazing. I say amazing a lot, but this one genuinely, I have just so mixed feelings about it because there's some cool configs in here. For example, the Hoang Sean config with mismatched headlights, mismatched kind of interesting looking wheels here and a massive spoiler at the back. It's like a cheap cobbled together street racer. Automatic gearbox and it's rear wheel drive. We've got a turbocharger under there and it loves to drift. It is actually pretty fast too and it handles quite well. That rear wing seems to be doing its job quite well. Let's brake. Oh, yeah, fairly good brakes. You can see we've also got a carbon fiber roof. Now that is something that's in the ETK 800, but I do think they're really cool. Let's go for a crash test and see if this car has any difference in the crash model. We are going quite fast, so let's go into this pillar here and slow motion. Whoa, one of the hubcaps came off and... Oh, the engine is actually popping through the bonnet there. Uh, it doesn't seem too different, maybe slightly lower quality, but yeah, pretty similar. You've also got these stripped down variants. You've got the Drifter and the Getaway car. I kind of like these. They've got this kind of protected bull bar frame at the front. Now the Drifter has a manual gearbox, but how well does it drift? Mine out for the traffic and then, whoa. Oh yes, that is a really good drift car. Now the Getaway car also has a manual gearbox. We've got a sport plus mode, but it's not that powerful. I think the police will be able to catch up with you, but how effective is that front protection? Here we go, let's ram into this sunburst at a fairly high speed, yeah? Yeah, that's not bad. We're ramming into an ETK 800. Yeah, actually pretty strong turning circle. Oh, the steering is way off of alignment now though, but that's to be expected. Oh, oh dear. We've also got this, which is called the Viper 12. It's a special police variant. You can see we've got this little blue light on the top. I think this is based on a German cop show car, something like that. And I guess they're detectives or undercover because they've put a blue light on the top and this magically becomes a police car. And of course it does have the German siren. Oh, handles 
Pretty normally it sounds like it's got a petrol engine, although the police can't afford a sat-nav. That's... I don't know what's going on there. Now for some of these configs you do need another mod. I'll leave a link to that in the description. It's also linked on the mod page. But this is the TT Sports Car Man. Look at those wheels. This thing has nitrous, so we're going to activate that and see how fast it is. Manual gearbox. Whoa, seems to be rear wheel drive. Yep, definitely. Here we go. Whoa, we are off. Yep, it is pretty quick. Nitrous in this car, or any rear wheel drive car, kind of goes crazy. Whoa, oh, not that good of a... Uh, steering angle actually very limited steering angle well, it's not made for drifting but I can't even keep it in a straight line come on what is going on even just a slightest bit of throttle makes a spin oh it is quick though there's 155 160 we're still accelerating wow that night just really is helping okay sixth gear we're almost at 200 oh it's gonna be a disaster whoa oh and then the game goes into low fps mode it seems like on these race models when you try and close the hood it doesn't actually close properly look that's kind of annoying i don't know why it doesn't close finally there's the ft garage edition this is a project car and it's an 860 horsepower drag racer i do really like it i love the roof box on the inside no major changes again from the etk 800 we've got a roll cage and bucket seats but let's drag race it against the nalhards the most powerful 800 series now i have a good feeling about this let's activate the nitrous i'm pretty sure this is going to be a lot quicker so this is a project car after all so it's not completely stock into neutral there you go stop why does it keep rolling forward so much power here we go whoa quarter mile start and i slightly jumped it there but over torque risk oh it's really hard to control in a straight line why is that happening yeah we're much quicker though whoa 144 9.7 so about 0.2 of a second faster oh except I was all over the place. Slow down, good brakes. Now, I'd still recommend you check this mod out. It is free on the repo after all. And again, I am grateful to all the mod creators out there who create these mods, but I think there's a little bit of a constructive criticism. This mod perhaps needed a bit more work before it... Oh, the, the engine just seized up. This mod maybe needed a bit more work before coming onto the repo. Some changes on the interior would have been very, very appreciated. Whoa! If you'd like to see another BMG mod that I think reworks the vanilla car more successfully, look at that 800 behind me. Uh, click the video on screen right now. It's of the Abishu Diadem, and it has some pretty interesting features. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more Simulator adventures.